And with the ongoing crisis in Syria, all eyes have been on the stock market recently. And joining us now live to talk about the impact it's having on Wall Street, Dennis Fagan from Fagan Associates. And Dennis, great to have you with us. And, and on an interesting day when we see uh, little activity in terms of the market either being up or down in, in any kind of a big swing, is everybody just in a holding pattern here, do you think? Well, I think a lot of the news has already been disseminated. If you look at the, the movement in the bond market on the 10-year from 160 to 290, Fed meets next week, and uh, many think they're going to taper. Syria, a lot of the information is already out. Uh, we know the strategic plan. Uh, so I, I think a lot of uh, both geopolitical news and news about the Fed tapering is already priced into the market. So it's kind of like a, yeah, like a holding pattern, Liz. Yeah, well, uh, and we also know there's some talk about the Fed meeting next week to reduce uh, bond buying or at least talk about it. What's that all about? I think that this is of specific interest to investors. As the Fed embarked on quantitative easing, which they're purchasing $85 billion a month worth of uh, Treasury and mortgage-backed securities, the demand for those securities obviously goes up and, the, and uh, the interest rate goes down. Well, now if they begin to withdraw that demand, interest rates will tick up. And they've already, like I said, in anticipation of this tapering, moved from 1.6 to about 2.9 percent in the 10-year Treasury. Uh, they'll move back to probably uh, equilibrium, which is maybe three and a quarter, three and a half percent in the 10-year Treasury. So, you know, uh, mortgage rates will probably trend up a little bit. Uh, treasury notes yields will trend up. CD rates might go up a little bit. So, uh, and commercial and uh, personal borrowing, the, the cost of that will increase a little bit. So that's what it means for uh, consumers and the investor. Over what kind of time frame do you see all this happening? Over the next two or three months. Uh, yeah. I think the Fed will begin to taper at, uh, announce it at next month's meeting. The 85 billion might go down to 70 billion or so. They've, we've got to get away from these emergency measures. And they'll probably uh, end tapering altogether probably over the next year or so. But I do think the move on the 10 year will move from 2.9 to maybe three and a quarter, three and a half over the next quarter or two. All right. Very good information there. Thank you so much. As always, Dennis Fagan from Fagan Associates. Look forward to seeing you again very soon. And